They're showing up! There's one. Oh my god! Yeah, we got you! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. All right, we're going to push off from a place called Biosignet on the West Bank, south part of New Orleans, and we're going to push off into this. Take a look at that. Some of the most hallowed sport fishing ground in all the world. That's Louisiana Bayou country right there, and all those great spots like this, Almond, Ferretaria, and most of all, Venice, that great tangle of, of canals and marshes and ponds and rivers that makes up some of the most outstanding red fishing in the world. I'm Tommy Sanders. So happy you've joined us. Mark Zona here, and we are ready to go with the event, Mark. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say the one that everyone's been pointing to all season long. Right. You know, Tommy, we, we went to Florida. Florida was, was good. We caught a few fish. We went on to Texas. Texas sure. got a lot better. We sure. caught some fish. But I cannot explain to the folks at home what we're about to see here today. This is really <laughs> going to be... I, it's going to be one of the most incredible one-hour footages of fish catching we've ever had on ESPN Outdoors. There's a group of, of three teams that, on this final day that in no underestimation, they have located one school of redfish that appears to be five to 10,000 fish. It, it, it's almost like the entire ocean has swam to where they're at. All right, it is feast and famine sometimes in the sport. The show you're about to see is the hyper feast. This is the king of all feasts of redfish that we're about to get into right now. We talk about this tournament in New Orleans less than a year after the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. Not, nothing's left our minds as far as the, all the human suffering, all the hard road back that everyone's going through in that part of the country. But sport fishing has always been a life-sustaining resource in that part of the world. And you have to know that sport fishing never went away it may be, in fact, and, better than it's ever and, been before. And, and, you know, with, with, the, with the Mississippi River dumping into the Gulf here, this is where life starts. There's so much food, so much nutrients going on here. The, the, the growth rate is exceptional here. All right. Well, we've got a great tournament lined up. Again, we started out with just under 90 boats. They fished hard for two days. Everyone caught a ton of redfish. And incredibly, we're down to just five teams that will be going after the $40,000 first prize. So fishing on the final day from Mobile, Alabama and Newport, Ritchie, Florida, Mike Tyndall and Artie Price. Boy, they've been in this top five plenty of times before. How about Scott Ritter and Robert Abruscato, another team from Alabama, also fishing on this final day, Anthony Randazzo and Billy Walbum. They've won a tournament before with the series. Jim Franklin and Brian Forney. Jim Franklin, former Team of the Year member, Bobby Warren and Alan Welch, a team from Mississippi and Louisiana. It's going to be pretty easy to track these teams as they're all going to the same general area, leaving Biosignet on the West Bank there, in the New Orleans area, going across the water and over to the Mississippi River and that legendary place for sport fishing, Venice, Louisiana. Hey, you're on ESPN. Tell the camera something. That's uh, Zell Rowland and Roland Martin in the back. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, a lot of idling zone, but now these teams are ready to crank it up and go. Right, and, and, and one of the things that has to be noted here, it's a long run, but it's a very hazardous run. Since the storm, there are tons of hazards in the water. All right, so you got about an hour in the open water, and as we mentioned, this is the stop you got to make, the very first stop in order to get back home. You got to put some gas in the boat. There's one place to do it, and everybody's going to make the same stop. We got Thurman and Jerry here at the boat dock, helping us fill up with gas. We made a long run all the way from Bayou Signet. We're in Venice, Louisiana right now, right where the eye of Hurricane Katrina passed over. And we're gonna go catch some giant redfish, and these guys are helping us out. We're getting a little fuel so we can make it back. They're giving us a special deal today, three dollars and thirty cents a gallon. You real nice job. fellas. Enjoy having your business. So y'all be back. We'll be back, baby. We're gonna win, right, Jerry? Oh yeah. Oh, these yeah. Are the guys here gonna win the guarantee. <laughs> oh, no. All right, the run has been made, the gas has been bought, we're ready to wind them up and start fishing. If you ever watch competitive fishing before, if you'll watch it again, you will never see a final day with more fish caught than this day. This team right here, Tyndall and Price, one word, they're looking for quality. But three other teams, one word, 
quantity, and when I say quantity, one of the biggest schools we will ever see. They will wade through a lot of fish today. Again, each team looking for the perfect two fish, under 27 inches long, but weighing more than any other two fish they catch. It's all coming up. The Oboy Alberto Redfish Cup presented by Frog Tongs is powered by Oboy Alberto Beef Jerky. Taste what's real, it better be Alberto. And brought to you by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And by Triton Boats, we take America fishing. Final regular season event of the season for the Oh Boy Alberto Redfish Cup, and this is the one everyone's looked forward to. We're in New Orleans. We've made our long run down to Venice. All five boats, and they're ready to get started fishing. The rules of the game, well, are two-man teams. you got to work as a team. You're going to get eight hours of fishing. You can go anywhere you want to, but in this case, everyone's going to the same general area, Venice, Louisiana. You get to fish for eight hours. You come in with two fish. You're looking for the two best fish that fit within that slot limit. They have to be under 27 inches long. Everybody had to buy some gas, and now we're ready to crank it up, start fishing. we got a great storyline set up for you we today. We do, Tom. We've got one team of Tyndall and Price. They are not on this massive school of fish. They said they're just looking for the right size fish. They're not on a ton, but they are on quality fish today. Well, they might be turning and coming to me. Look at the mud pot right there. Get off the trolling motor. There's another one right here to the left, this one. Don't be too big. Please, fish gods, be a good one. Ain't pulling drag. Oh, now you're showing too. Fish God's got to be nice to Artie. Always important to get off to a quick start. It looks like it's going to be Tyndall and Price to go first up on the board. This fish will obviously, well, obviously be big enough to fit in the bottom part of the slot limit. Let's see if under 27 inches. Too big? I think he'll do. If he does, he's a monster. Now, one reason these limits are going to be so big down here is obviously because they're going to catch so many fish, but there's another reason as well. There is. If you talk to these guys that are running to this area, they feel that there's a different strain of redfish. And what I mean by that, they're stockier fish. Their tails are not pointed. They got a real blunt tail, and they're thick around the shoulders. They weigh more. I like having two good ones. First thing, like them big ones, throw in there, bam, bam, uh, get two good ones. That takes all the heat off you. You know that three of the votes, top three, are going to be hammering the fish if they can get on them. They're catching 200 fish a piece a day, they said. No doubt about it, Artie Price's concerns are well founded. This threesome out here on this school of fish is formidable. Here And here's the beauty of this. They just need to get their school ignited. It'll start off a little bit slow. They may only catch 100 in the first oh, hour or so, but when it gets going, lights out. You know, I sure like these guys were fishing around. I really hate it for the luck. But they can't beat us here. They don't have what I have. Mr. Franklin. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God dang. There he is. Oh, it's a good one, good one, good one. Oh, Brian, he's pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, baby. Everybody ought to know. I can't hardly sing anymore. My voice is gone. He's pretty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him, I'm gonna bring him. Oh, man! Go! 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 Franklin's out of his mind. Oh, baby! Thank you, Lord! Look how fat that fish is! That's for you, baby! <laughs> God! What a monster fish. How pretty is that? 26 and a half, first fish of the day. There's that first eight pounder of the day right there! Yeah! And Tommy, these three boats are literally fishing within a cast of each other. And, and if the folks at home are looking at these guys right now, there is no joke, and, and this is not an, an estimation, there is probably 5,000 fish underneath their boat. They got a pipeline runs across here and they put a rock 
dam on top of them to keep the pipelines from floating up. And You're tempted to say these well, guys are lucky to find a huge, huge school of fish yeah. like this, but they were all looking for very specific conditions. And, and the pipeline's just a little added extra bonus. What these fish are really related to, they're, they're funneling into this area through the river channel right there. It's almost the best way to describe it. It's like a highway and the boulders and the pipeline are like a stop sign. There he is. There he is. Brian Kellen. He's way out past you. There we go. There we go, Bobby Pop. Bobby's got one. It's on like popcorn. Got him. Woohoo! Woo! Get you some of that. Woo! Ain't doubled up over there, too. Four of them. It's about to be six. <laughs> Bent rods. Based on what we know, this is the way it's going to be all day long for these guys. Do you get into a fatigue situation where there are that many fish coming into the boat? You know, I'm going to actually relate it to smallmouth fishing. If you, if you get on a you know a school of like maybe 50, you get you start to get lackadaisical and not paying attention to maybe the right fish you have on the line. You have to keep your mind in it all day. Even if you're going through 100, 200 fish, you have to keep your eye on the right fish. There's just gonna be one of them that's gonna win the wow. tournament for you. You can't just, uh, you can't blow that one off and not land it. We got two in already. We're looking for something way bigger. Also on this school of fish, Anthony Randazzo and Billy Walbaum won their tournament year before last. Mobile on the Oboy Alberto Redfish Cup Series. They would love to add a second win here today in Venice. I got it. Straight down right here. Mm. We're trying to get away from it. No monster, but we gotta put one in the well to get cranked up. All right, we got all three teams yeah. on the board. That, no surprises that there. That, that doesn't look like too much fun, right? Okay. Oh, no, no. Now, now, now mind you, they're, they're swinging six, seven pounders in the boat. When we were in Florida, Jeffrey Page caught one that was four and a half pounds. They're catching fish literally bigger than Jeffrey Page. There he is, right there in front of y'all. Right there in front of y'all, right on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Hey, get the anchor. Get the anchor. Get the anchor. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Get him now. Yeah! 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 Wow! Yeah! He's not even on Ritalin. <laughs> I'm telling you! Boom! You don't mind if I catch one, do you, Jim? Please. Oh, man. Yesterday we struggled so much trying to get, we had a big fish early. And we struggled so much trying to catch our second fish that was really fat. This one's just under 26 inches, but he's, he's for sure seven pounds. Seven pounds even. There's your 15 pounds real quick. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're gonna better step it up a notch because we got 17. This little guy, hey. Can you see me? Are you looking in my eyes? I'm coming back for you next year, you hear? Bye. We won't tell him it's just four. <laughs> Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. Are you getting the idea? How are we going to be able to stand this all day long? We're just getting started. Here's the best way to put it. There are going to be so many fish catches coming, it's going to get dangerous. When we start slinging fish in the boat, it just, it's just, we might hit each other in the head and we don't want anybody to get injured. Catch a fin in a temple. The Old Boy Alberto Redfish Cup, our final regular season event, and it's been the event everyone has looked forward to because of the quantity and the size of the redfish. We're here in New Orleans, final day action, five teams out there battling it out for the $40,000 first prize as we look at our leaderboard. We're very early on in the fishing, but check it out, the team of Franklin and Fournay, they've already got two fine fish in the boat, and it's just gonna go up from here. What we've got basically set up here, Mark Zona, is three teams on a school that is massive. Definitely, but the, the, the the team buck in the system right now is Tyndall and Price. They're always the bridesmaids. They're not catching quantity. They're just catching quality. Another team not fishing the big school. This team, Abrascato and Ritter. This is an Alabama casting platform right here. <laughs> 
trying to get a sponsorship from them, but we they won't give it to us just yet. Wow. Yeah. How about that right there? These guys made a stop at the hardware store on the well, way Well, what's down. amazing is my wife bought me one of those things, and it's been <laughs> in my garage for about four years, but now I know what I can use it for, right? Well, yeah. yeah the thing is, each of the five teams on this final day are outfitted now, with see, the now, same boat. The same boat. And they're trying to customize it a little advantage, bit. But I'm going to tell you something. If Tommy Sanders and Mark Zona ever team up and bring a ladder in the boat, bad things will happen. Trust me, bad things will happen It'll right there. It'll be bad luck, right? We're going to take you for a little ride in downtown New Orleans, baby. You're going to New Orleans with us, baby. Yeah. He's a, he's a good Ooh. start. He's not as little as I thought no, he was. he's a good start. A right, little 24-incher. Not, not what we want, but it's a good just start. If you got a what is he? 24-incher. Abrascato, Ritter, obviously jacked up to get that good keeper on the board. They are on the board, still in last place. It's not such a big deal to get a fish in the boat over at our other location. You're right. I, I want to go back to Franklin and Fournay. You know what? Seeing, seeing guys catch one fish is fun, but I want to see some meat right now. It hadn't started yet. <clears throat> but when it really gets going here in a minute, we brought something for him. Brian and I going to put on these. Hey, don't show everybody that. Because when we start slinging fish in the boat, it just, it's, we might hit each other in the head. We don't want anybody to get injured. Catch a fin in a temple. Whenever the action starts, we're breaking out the mast. In fact, we should have shown up with those on. Now, see, TMX, this is what I'm going to tell you. Work well in the outdoors. Being a cameraman and seeing the fisherman that you're covering breaking out a helmet, never good. <laughs> no, it's not good. And, and what it tells you is, is you've got a day coming like no other. How many spots? What's the most spots? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine spots. All right, I got nine spots. Watch your head. Look at that beautiful fish. You look bigger now. <laughs> now what these guys are gonna do, Tommy, is they're actually gonna count the spots and, and the one that has the most spots is gonna win. Now, this might amaze you, but I was a fisheries biologist and a redfish usually only has two spots. All right, so these guys are counting spots now when it comes to the end of the day. Anybody got anything better? Look how beautiful this fish is. And this one only got uh, like Nine. I got nine twice. I got 18. We probably prepared for war today. Hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spots are in jeopardy. The spots are in jeopardy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 spots. Spot fish, baby. Hey, it's a war out here. We came prepared, and I thought we were gonna win. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is a war out there. Pretty much hand-to-hand -hand combat. Those three boats parked on top of that huge school of fish. But what's gonna happen away from these guys? The old veterans here, Mike Tyndall, Artie Price. These guys have had seven top five finishes. Counting today, multiple second place finishes. They don't want any more second place. They want to win. They're not going for quantity. They're going for quality. That's the battle we've got set up today. We'll play out more when we come back. The spots are in jeopardy. The Old Boy Alberto Redfish Cup this is the final tournament of the regular season for 2006. And after five events, we have finally found the mother load of redfish. We're south of New Orleans, near Venice, Louisiana. We're down to five teams on this final day, the $40,000 first prize. Each team can bring in a two redfish limit, the biggest redfish you can find that will stay under that 27 inch mark. We got three teams parked on top of a giant school of fish. One team out there is kind of looking probing, trying to find two perfect fish all alone, Mike Tyndall and Artie Price. And, and, and for the folks at home right now watching how these guys are fishing, it's going to look like they're throwing a bobber. And that's not what that is. It, 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 it's called a popping cork. And it floats, but it acts as kind of an attractor for these redfish 
It's got a little soft plastic behind it. And watching them fish like that, I'm, I'm gonna make a prediction right now. Any bass fisherman out there should keep their eye on this technique. Within the next one, two, or three years, you're gonna see a real high-level pro win a tournament this way. Got another one coming right at us. Get your rod. Get your rod. Let me handle this one. Nets land right there. Go to the other side. Go around me. I got this one. Real big fish, that one's over the slot, but they got the second hookup still yet to come. This one will definitely keep. I think he's actually small. I'm bigger now. Come here, alive. <laughs> definitely, maybe not keep. A lot of fun right now on the boat at Tyndall and Price, but unfortunately, neither of these fish will help. Both of them are oversized, but the good news, they're still in second place. But Tommy, I want to go back. Oh, yeah. Take me back to the Redfish War Zone, please. Going right now, those three teams parked on top of that big school of fish. It's Anthony Randazzo, Billy Walbaum, also Bobby Warren and Alan Welk. And these guys, Jim Franklin and Brian Fournay. There's another one. Well, I need some help. <laughs> Straight out there towards the stumps. Not very far. There we go. Double up. It's on now, baby. Got him. Coming back. Dozy -si do promenade. It's on now, baby. This is it. There you go, Cap. That's him. Mine's a dink. Oh my God, look at him. He's 26 and three quarters. He's fat as a pig. Show me some eight. He's a solid seven and three quarters. That'll work. There he is, there he is. <laughs> Rodeo. Rodeo time, boy. In Texas, we call this a redfish rodeo. What do y'all call it here in Louisiana? Thumping them. Ah! I heard the fishing biting here. Small fish. What's that? Oh, brother. My goal today is to hit the cameraman at least once. I'm gonna try to only do it once. And I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do it with a seven pounder or a nine pounder. Really? That's like a pretty good fish. 26 inches. You believe I just plopped a 26 inch in the boat? <laughs> and, and, and watching this, if you if you talk to the red fishermen and ask them, if you say, why is New Orleans so good? You know, and I mean talk to the locals, the guys that know this, like Anthony Randazzo, sure. they'll talk about brackish water. Fresh water meeting salt water. What it does, it just brings bait out of nowhere. It, when, when the tide drops here, Tom, we were there on days one and two, sure. the bottom is crawling with bait. It looks alive. It's just crab after crab after crab. These fish could swim around with their mouth open and fill the mouth every 12 seconds. What did you just call me? Thanks, Mo. Thanks, Mo. Bobby Warren, Alan Welch, getting up the board, up the leaderboard there. They got two good fish in there. They're two pounds Six of pounds. our leaders. This one measures we might have a new leader. Ah, he's over. Over. 27 and a half. Uh, 43. Well, it's a little slower this morning. We got two fish in the box. We got uh, roughly a six, six and a half pounder, and a 610. Figure we need about 1230, about the latest. We're going to be up with the fish here. Just slower. What huh? do you say? What? Well, it's a little slower this morning. OK, no, 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 no. Tommy, Tommy, <laughs> a slow day for me is catching none, OK? Slow is clear water. Slow is Punta Gorda. Right. We're fishing down here. This is an entirely different planet of redfish that we are on. 
And away from our three teams, we're fishing that huge school of fish. Again, we've got to keep going back to Tyndall and Price. These guys from Mobile and Florida really, really trying to knock out a win. They've been wanting a win for so long, they're going fish by fish, and they're catching good fish. These guys are still in this thing. Maybe a beamer, huh? Yeah, I jumped him up with the trolling motion. Thank you, Mike. Big Daddy from Cincinnati snuck up on him. And every week we talk about the perfect fish, the one fish that is barely under 27 inches. That was 27 at the line. We got two touching the line, brother. We got an epic battle going on to markedly different approaches to winning this tournament. Three boats trying to whale on a big school of fish and two guys out there going at it fish by fish. Who's going to be on top? Who's going to prevail? We got plenty more fishing left. Don't go away. Is that cool or what? The O'Boy Alberto Redfish Cup presented by Frog Talks is brought to you by Singular, now the new AT&T. And by the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation. Stop number five and last of the regular season stops for the Old Boy Alberto Redfish Cup 2006. And this is the biggest one redfish wise. Numbers, quality, size. We're in Venice, Louisiana, just south of New Orleans. Final day of the tournament. Take a look at that leaderboard right now. We're not even halfway through the fishing day. We got two teams, each with 15 pounds tied for the lead right now. We got so much more fishing on the way. How good has it been? Well, in terms of numbers, of course, it's been the best day we've ever seen on the O'Boy Alberto Redfish Cup, and now it's going to get really silly. Oh, wow. I hope he didn't get me. That's the only thing about I'm going to catch one with just jig head. They took, my, they took my tail off. I got just a jig head out there right now. Come on. That's how good it's been. We've been catching just on bare jig heads. He's a kidder, Jim Oh, he's crazy. He's, kids. he's, he's not crazy. really going to catch one on a Tommy, jig Tommy, this head. is no joke. These guys, they're, they're fishing a technique that is it's sweeping the nation right now. They're fishing a lead head, okay, with a bare hook. That's all they're using. Now, I'm going to throw a disclaimer out there right here. Don't try this in other parts of the country. No, no. It, it may not produce that well. And you know what? We do. We hear, we hear guys saying stuff at the weigh-ins. Well, I caught, him on a, I caught him on a bare hook today. You'd laugh. Tommy? That happened here. If you don't believe it, here's an experiment. Watch Alan Welch. Are you going to throw that? Yeah, I'm going to throw that. Isn't it, isn't it missing something? Yeah. A fish, a body. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool or what? <laughs> That's all in the presentation, isn't it? That's all it is. It's all how you jiggle it. Now, Tommy, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, no, it's not. It's not the technique. You just pretty much need to throw. Yeah. That's pretty good. One. All right, that fish oversized. And these guys have got to be. I don't care how many you can catch in a day. You've got to start getting fatigued at this point. <laughs> See that pink right there? That's what happens when you catch that many fish in three days. Now, now, we see our guys getting a little lackadaisical on that big school. The one team that is not daydreaming, the team of Tyndall and Price, seven top fives, has to be in the back of their head. See if he eats this or not. Oh, he's under it. He's under it. I got him. You see him come up and nose your core? Yep. Come on, I'm get right one, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to tell you this, but that was the one. He, see how easy he took it down? Yeah. He didn't get a good hook in him. Think he'd have made it? He's taking drag on me. He was the right one. <laughs> I got a good look at him. Big exhale, get a drink of water, put that one out of your mind, and try to catch one more fish and try to make sure it's the perfect yeah. fish. Angry. We're coming down to it, maybe a matter of ounces as the last period of fishing is coming up. We've got a lot to decide here in New Orleans. We'll be right back. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. 
in here. Get the forge out of there! Yeah. We're watching the Old Boy Alberto Redfish Cup. This is our last regular season event, and it is something. We are down in New Orleans, just south of New Orleans, fishing Venice, Louisiana. Five teams on this final day, and they are just catching the heck out of the redfish. There's no other way to put it. This one's gonna come down to the final moments. Right now we got three teams on top of a school just wailing on them. Another team, Mike Tyndall and Artie Price, who've been in this position trying to win for so long and have gotten so close to trying to make something happen. But let's take a look at our school fishermen right and, here. And, and here's the amazing thing is our, our, our guys that are sitting on this school, it appears the fish are actually getting bigger later in the day. I'm fishing to, I'm fishing to punish these fish now. <laughs> we don't think we can punish you. Gotta get mad at them, I have just about gotten angry with them. Brian, 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 Brian. This is a Brian. toad right here. Brian. Boy, what That's do you think? That's all I got to do is just pick up, throw your rod out, catch a good one. Hey, Jim, that's a good fish. Oh, man. That pretty, pretty, pretty. That is a pig. Oh my God! This fish better not measure, boys. Ain't gonna be some tears and some beers. Oh my God! How much you weigh? Huh? Hey. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. All right, that leaderboard keeps changing. Franklin and Fortney, with that fish right there, are going to take over the lead right now, a half a pound ahead of Randazzo and Wallbaum, them half a pound ahead of Tyndall and Price. Obviously, we are headed for a very close photo finish here. We are, and, and these guys are starting to wear down. I mean, they're cut, they're bruised, and they're battered. Alan's got one in his hand. Oh, it's tough to it on your own. Ugh, but it can be done. Oh my God! He's a fat son of a gun. He's over seven and three quarter. He's he's eight. He's eight. Put him on the board. You check him. Oh yeah, he's eight. Put him on the board. You check him. Uh uh. He's over. That's as hard as I can pinch it. I mean, that's touching it. I think it'll be all right. Make the call. I think it'll be just fine. I'm gonna figure out which one of these is the smaller one. The Randazzo and Wallbaum, they've found the answer. They're gonna move into that tie unofficially for first place at 16 pounds each with Franklin and Fournay. Both these teams are dialed in. Both of them are fighting fatigue. Man, who is gonna get the final word? Do you realize how good it's gonna look with two of those cup trophies side by side on my mantle. Good luck. I'm gonna have two right next to the cup. See, everybody got along great this oh, morning. Sure. Had a good time. But the both teams right now are starting to smell the big W. And well, the feelings are starting to change just a hair. Plus, the last few grains of sand are starting to fall through the hourglass. It's time to wrap up your business. It's do or die. Last cast. Oh, he come off him. Oh, there's his partner. Whatever he is, he is. We're going home. Coming up right here. Coming up fast. Ugh. Please be eight pounds. That looks like it. On the Hail Mary cast. Look how wide this fish is. Oh, yes. Put his nose hard on it. It's hard on that. He's short. Yes. Eight and a half. Get the boards out of there! Come on! The Hail Mary right there, fellas. And what do you do when the team 10 feet away from you makes their last cast of the day, put one in the boat, eight and a half pounds, they call and they're gonna pick up and take off. I would I would start talking a lot of trash. I'd put it in the live well, start the engine, and head home. That's exactly what Randazzo and Wallbaum are getting ready to do, leaving Franklin and Fournay in their wake. According to the boga, 16 and a half pounds. That, God, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck now. I think we got 16 and three quarter pounds in the sack. I think we got a really great shot at winning this thing. It'll be number two. Keep your fingers crossed. 
Boy, now th there, there's a feeling you don't want. You're, you're seeing the guys leave that you know they probably got you by maybe one or two ounces, and there's not but about three to five minutes left. At the most. Remember, these guys are all fishing out of the same boat, powered the same way. You know, these guys have, don't have a lot of time to stick around and try to put one more great fish in the boat. They both got to get going really quick. The last cast. The last cast of the day, they boat a pig. I mean, a right giant. in our face. All right. We're gonna catch one they're not gonna know about. Make it even better right there. Please be the one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that, Hail Mary! Granddads ah. don't know nothing about it, baby! About. I ate in, uh, about eight and a half. Who is your daddy? <laughs> Who is your daddy? Look around, they look around. They don't know it happened. <laughs> Tommy Sanders, we have worked together in tournaments for many years, my friend. Never have I seen one day's action like this. Plus, these guys are not done yet. They have burned some more precious minutes. They've got to get back to the launch on time or they will be penalized. They got a 90 minute boat ride. They better not mess around. Hey, I'll tell you what, these are the best red fishermen in the world. They better bring it. They better have their, their A game today. One more team that better bring it. Right here, Mike Tyndall, Artie Price, Seventh time in the top five, a whole bunch of second place finishes. They're tired of that. They're tired of being the bridesmaids. They've hung with the rest of the field all day long today in a virtual tie with the top three teams. Can this be the fish that busts this thing wide open? Oh, there's a whole school. Get out there. Get out there. I lost that one. Whole school over. Here you go. Which way'd they go? They're right there. I think that's it, dog. All right, how much time we got? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yep. He looks big now. He looks big, man. Go. Oh, baby, baby, baby. You're going to kiss me right in the lips. Now we're in the game. See how big he is compared to the other one. This one. Yeah. We did all we could do. Hope the boys on the wreck got them, but I hope we got them a little better. <laughs> what they weigh is up to the fat lady. No doubt about it. We've caught more redfish on this day than ever before in the history of the Old Boy Alberto Redfish Cup. It's closer than it's ever been before. Three teams unofficially locked into a tie. It's all got to be decided at the weigh-in. $40,000 on the line. Three teams hoping to push through. We'll have it for you when we come back. The O'Boy Alberto Redfish Cup, presented by Frog Tongs, is powered by O'Boy Alberto Beef Jerky. Taste what's real, it better be Alberto. And brought to you by Lawrence Electronics. We lead, we find, you win. And by Falcon Rods, made in the USA and proven by America's fishermen. The O'Boy Alberto Redfish Cup, very proud to be coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana. Big crowd on hand here, Gretna the weigh-in at Academy Sports. Very much anticipating what may come to the stand here. They know how good the red fishing has been here in recent months, and we're going to see just how close it was out there today. Let's get down to business and meet our first team. Let's see how they fare today. Mike Tyndall and Artie Price. Reach into the bag. Let's see what you got. All right, for this team from Mobile, Alabama, Newport, Ritchie, Florida, two good fish. Obviously, the critical part is going to be the weight, 16.43. So Tendall and Price have really done well for themselves out here today. They'll take that leader seat and just take on the next four teams one by one. Next up, Scott River. 
Robert Abruscato. Like Tyndall and Price, they did not fish that community hole out there and had great success anyway, but only a 15.79, so they will not be able to knock Tyndall and Price out of the leader's seat. Next up, Jim Franklin, Brian Fournay. You saw how much fun they were having out there on the water today and how fatigued they got later on, catching so many fish, so many numbers. But their weight, a 15.97. So it's going to be Mike Tyndall and Artie Price still in that leader's position with two more teams left to go. Well, coming up next, there they are, Anthony Randazzo, Billy Wallbaum. This team gonna have to have 16.44. We saw how well they did out there today. There's one. And there's two. Two great fish for Anthony Randazzo and Billy Walbaum. 16.44 pounds to lead this tournament right now. Hmm. It takes 16.44 pounds to lead this tournament right now. 16.44 pounds. One one hundredth of a pound is what separates Randazzo and Wallbaum from Tyndall and Price. Just incredible. We knew it was going to be close. We had no idea it was going to be that close. One more team left to go. Another team fishing in that same special hole out there. Bobby Warren and Alan Welch, and now the number to beat, a 16.44. And it looks like they're going to be close as well. The tightest one we've ever had on the Opo Alberto Redfish Cup. We'll take 15.9, and that makes Randazzo and Walbaum. 16.44 does it for Anthony Randazzo and Billy Walbaum, the team from Bell Chase and Shreveport. Hoist the trophies they've won in New Orleans. So between those two boats, one and two, how many redfish did they catch during the course of this day? Well, you, you also got to realize we probably only got to watch 10% of what they really caught. That's you can't even comprehend what, what happened out phenomenal. there. Maybe 75 fish a boat, and they come in, and these two boats are one ounce separated one from another. What are the odds of that? Well, bad odds, you know. And not, <laughs> not only that, that's probably the most fun you'll ever have losing a tournament. Yeah, I don't think they had so much fun at the weigh-in there. Uh, yeah, not uh, so much. Artie Price and Mike Tyndall. You think? They came in seven. Top fives throughout their career. A bunch of those are second places, yeah. and now they got another second to hang yeah, up on the I, wall I, there. I, I'm a big Mike Tyndall and Artie Price fan. That's a bad deal, and I'll stop right there. All right, Anthony Randazzo, Billy Wallbaum, get all the credit. They put on a great show out there for us today. We are wrapped up, and the state of Louisiana, it as was, you predicted, came up big. It, it was unbelievable. I, you know, I've been wrapped up my whole life in a little bass fishing blanket over here. I liked it over here, but the best way to describe it is if you get an opportunity to do this one time, to go to New Orleans and redfish one time, you will be hooked your entire life. Well, that wraps up our regular season. What that means is the field is set for our championship. 25 teams have qualified. We're headed to Moorhead City, North Carolina for a big money event and no entry fee. Right, and that's the biggest thing. There's no entry fee, which, which shows red fishing. It's growing at, at, a, at a high rate, and it's becoming like the Bass Masters Classic of red fishing right now. Know anything about this location? Well, Nor North Carolina is not really known as a redfish area, but it's going to surprise a lot of people what's happening here. All right, $75,000 to the winners of that tournament. Another piece of business to be resolved there. Our O'Boy Alberto Team of the Year competition, that could be another $25,000. As has happened before, it could be one team taking both prizes, a possible $100,000. That's fantastic for a growing Definitely. sport. We've got a shootout brewing here. We've got two of the veteran teams in the sport, Tyndall and Price, the Watts brothers. But right now, kind of a dark horse team, Johnson and Oaks. They have to do well. All right, our regular season's done. We've got lots more treats, lots more drama on the way. We'll see you next time at the championship in North Carolina. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. And that makes Randazzo and Walpau your Redfish Cup, New Orleans champions.